right, Mike here with Reprint, and today's video, uh, lots of people have requested this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to replace or take out and remove and install uh, a DX7 print head on your little Muto Bayou Jet VJ628 or VJ628D or the VJ628X. This printer is not worth me putting a $2,000 print head in, so I am not going to actually install the new print head, but I'll show you what you have to do to access the print head in this machine. This machine is going to go to the scrap yard because why would someone put such an expensive print head in a little cheap machine? I have no clue. So it's not for me. There's no money to be made. I was given this printer. Someone told me take it. I have no use for it. So I'm going to show you. But first we have to remove this uh, front cover there's a screw there screw there got to remove the handle on the side and then the back screws I'm gonna remove those and uh, show you how to dig into this machine so on the back of the machine there's a screw that goes right there and there's also one down here that you will have to remove right there you can see it right there remove that one and that'll allow you to remove this cover all right, so this is what I hate about the machine. There's really no room to work when you come to these joints where the uh, uh, ink lines go to the dampers. Uh, so the first thing I am going to do is take the uh, print head bracket out so we can gain access so we can remove the uh, dam damper uh, holders. All right, so now in order to uh, remove this print head, uh, we're gonna have to uh, release these these valve joints right here. I'm gonna have to take those off of there off of the printer uh, So that I can gain access and pull this printhead out of the machine Unfortunately uh, how this system is set up on this Muto. I I do not mess with these machines, but uh, I've never replaced the printhead on a, a VJ 628 uh, but uh, I can see there's no room, you know, you cannot pull this out of there because you have these uh, attachments right here, so uh, live ink, uh, it's dangerous working on a machine when you have uh, you know, ink inside the lines. You can create a big, huge inky mess, which I'm likely going to do. Uh, there's no avoiding it. Uh, sometimes uh, when we're replacing print heads, the reason is because it's clogged. So there wouldn't be no flushing the machine. Now, if you don't have a clogged print head, it's best to uh, take some eco-solvent cleaner, clean, flush the machine out, uh, purge the ink out of the system, the cleaner and uh, you will have much better results. Uh, you will waste a little bit of ink, but I promise you it is your best bet to make sure that these, you know, there is no ink or uh, uh, cleaner inside the system because we have two options here with this Muto. There is no shutoff valve when it comes to uh, stopping the ink flow. So you have two options. You can remove the ink cartridges, which is gonna allow the ink to flow backwards. And this one, you can see an inky mess inside of here. Someone has replaced this print head, which is apparent to me because I can see uh, on the sticker right there, I can see that there's a uh, someone's had ink on their hands and they've replaced this print head previously. I can see signs right there. And what happens if you don't have the ink cartridges in the system, it's just gonna flow backwards and go inside the ink cartridge area. You're gonna have a nasty mess whenever you put the uh, ink cartridges in, they're gonna melt and uh, it's going to be a bad thing. So you have the only option is to leave the cart cartridges in there. But when you do, you have positive gravity pressure and it's going to make these ink lines start leaking all over this area. You're going to get along the head cables. Uh, so we're, we have a nasty mess going on right now when we, when we uh, decide to pull these off of here. So I'm going to get some paper towels and try to do this as neatly as possible. Uh, but again, it's going to flow out the back of this machine. I'm going to create a mess, but I do not care about this machine. It's going to the scrap yard, uh, so it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and do it. I just want to show you the proper ways. The most important thing that I can state is careful of your connectors here. Make sure no ink gets on these connectors. Someone has got it on there previously make sure none of the pins get bent very important if you have bent pins you can burn up a two thousand dollar print head so be very 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 careful all right so i played around a little bit removed a few uh other components just to see if there was an easier way to remove this print head without releasing those lines yet i've even bent you know that back trying to gain access back there so that it would pull straight up and it still does not it still has uh 
tension. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove these little joints. I've you know placed some paper towels in the ink cartridge slots to ensure no ink gets anywhere. I'm gonna try to stuff, even though I don't care about this machine or the print head, I don't wanna clean up a big inky mess. So I'm going to start popping off these connectors right here and my screwdriver i'm trying to hold this camera just isn't working very well so i'm gonna try to all right so i'm gonna start popping these off of here kind of hard with with uh one hand i'm just gonna stick the screwdriver under the bottom pull up there we go no inky mess yet kind of hard with the camera sorry i'm just gonna move these to the side the best i can move them out of the way onto the paper towel so they can drip on the paper towel and since we're not getting ink flow it's because the uh, ink cartridges are removed so it is likely flowing backwards in fact i could actually see it flowing backwards so there you have it i'm gonna pop these off it's hard to get back there with holding this camera and doing it so i'm gonna try to be as careful make sure you're careful with this and you can see the ink already flowing backwards. You just saw it in the yellow, or I just saw it in the yellow. And there we have it. They are all removed. And now I should be able to release this print head and pull it out of the machine. Yes, just like she is. Out of there. There we have it. Make sure all the O-rings stayed inside the damper. There you have it. So let me clean this up and I'll show you how to put it back together. All right, so for video purposes only, uh, I'm not gonna, I took this uh, shield off right here, number one. Uh, I never put it back on, but I'm not gonna fully install this back in the machine because it's going to the scrapyard. Uh, but I wanted to show you, I have removed the cables from the head carriage board. This will make uh, the installation a whole lot easier if you put the cables in there. But you want to make sure you put them in nice and straight. Uh, if there's any type of ink that gets on these connectors, you are going to potentially fry your main board, fry this print head. I've done it several times. I've destroyed $2,000 print heads. And uh, this is the most vital. We want to make sure no ink whatsoever gets on them cables. Very, very, very important. Uh, if it does, if for some reason you do get ink uh, on them connectors, uh, clean them off, dry the print head out, and make sure that there's no chance uh, of uh, shorting out the print head with the ink on there. Very, very, very important. Uh, I also highly recommend uh, these videos. A lot of the stuff that I show you is what not to do. And what I did here was what not to do. Uh, I have ink on the floor on both sides. It's coming through the machine. And it is best that you just flush your machine. Uh, get as much ink out as possible. If your entire head is clogged, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, but if it is not, please uh, get the ink out of your system. That is an inky, inky mess. Uh, this is, you know, potentially going to ruin this printer. Uh, so that's pretty much all there is to it now. I have it in there. You can now set the print head back in. We have to move them lines out of the out of the way to do so. Make sure that you take a little video to know the orientation of them tubes. And that's all there really is to it. Then you can feed these wires back into the head carriage area and uh, proceed from there. Uh, it's not too complex, uh, but anytime messing with live ink and messing with uh, print heads, you, you know, pose a risk of ruining something. So. Be careful, hopefully this helps. I took a little bit more apart trying, hoping there was an easier way on this machine, but there just isn't. So uh, best of luck, hopefully this helps, and uh, see you in the next video. Hey, another uh, thing that I forgot. This print head set has an F on the front and an R on the rear. Pay attention to the orientation. The F goes to the front of the machine. It stands for a front. Wanna make sure I added that to this video so no there was no confusion